I'm Fausto, I'm marketing and sales manager of uh, Coma in Italy. And this year at uh, Plaza 2011, our idea was to present Reflection Ledco Full Spectrum and Reflection Ledco Very White. These two products, and I'll talk about the first, the, 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 the Full Spectrum first, have, uh, um, you know, we I kind of took a, a big challenge from the market to innovate into the area of the profile. So what we've done, we've created two luminaires, LED based, that have a back that is either full spectrum or variable wide or 3200. The full spectrum is, uh, is engineered to, be, to generate any color, any color of the spectrum. The very white is generated to generate any white from 3000 to 7000 Kelvin. The challenge is to go in places like TV studios, museum, and fix their problem. You know, I, I had uh, the, I had so many people asking Coema to manufacture an LED profile and what we came up with is a soft edge and a hard edge fixer. The other challenge was to be able to use the barn door. So that's another thing that usually with the LED you cannot, you cannot use. What we generate have all the advantages of the LED. So in an installation, you're taking, you, you're really having all, all the standard advantages. I mean, no dimmer, no scroller, no air conditioning, no need for cabling, uh, no like very minimum relamping. You know, I'm talking about 10 years. Uh, the heat of the face, the, the, the fixture doesn't not, does not heat up the face of, of, the, of the people that is being lit up and it doesn't heat up any paint if you're in a museum. So you save in power, you save installation cost, you save maintenance, you, the fixer repay for itself in six months and then is giving you six years of uh, advantages in, in, in energy saving. What you can do easily hi, is uh, you can transform any room in a TV studio. And that was our challenge, you know, no more dimmer, no more stuff. So far, you could do it with dots, with, with the standard LED fixture. Our, the way we interpreted that is really, like I said, we've built the reflection LED go. It's the, it is back. As I said, in variable white, in full spectrum, or in 3200. Then the thing that we've done, we have generated profile optics. The profile is a zoom that allowed you to zoom from 28 to 40 degree. The fixture allows also to use standard ellipsoidal. So if you have a source 4 or a copy of source 4, the lights allow the use of any of the existing. With that said, uh, one of the main free advantage is that the gobo can be print from a standard printer. So you, you take any JPEG image or you can write anything and, uh, and you just use your standard printer and, and, you, and you print the gobo. So anything, the picture of my daughter can become an, an easy gobo. The way we are using these, it's, uh, we had to design a new gobble holder because we want the image to be flat. So this is magnet. 
in order to keep the, the, the gobo flat. So if you have a metal gobo, you're using the standard metal, the standard metal size. But if you want to print any special, uh, because the light is cold, uh, like you can see here, so this one is, they are projected by, uh, it says, uh, in, instant gobo from a standard printer. So it's very easy to, pr anybody can print his own, his own stuff. So it's not only, saving, this is a kind of free, it's a free benefit of, of using a, a, a source that is cold. Now, having said that the back is really called reflection lead core in the different variation, either of white or color, or the 3200, and having said that we have a profile, the profile, as I said, in this kind of economy, we thought would be very nice to use optics that TV, TV have in stock, so they don't have to pay for these. They only pay for the back, so it's like buying a dimmer, you know. The, so they, they already know the optics, so why not using what they have? We just designed Zoom mm, for specific customer requests. Having said that this is an advantage, our reflection LED co is also the first light that can use, um, that can be used as a soft edge not only as an hard edge. So we have designed a front that is either PC or Fresnel. What are we achieving with a Fresnel or a PC front? Mario, mi dai un pezzo di smonti questo? What are we achieving? What we do achieve with the Fresnel and with the PC optics we achieve a perfect beam, either in white or in color, but soft edge, and it's uh, instead of hard edge. When it's soft, we are using a comma pattern. The first pattern of the reflection LED go is in the source. The second pattern is in the optics. When you have a soft edge, you can use a, a quite old comma pattern, where by using the framing, the, the framing shutter in front of a Fresnel or a PC, what you actually do, you can, by framing, you frame the beam, the beam of light. But with these optics, you are soft edge. With the, with the kind of lamp LED LED source that we have inside, you have no shadow, no dots, you have no downside of the downside of the LED. With this set and with this in front, this light is the first one that I know of that where the band doors really work. So when I mean when, I, when I'm saying soft edge profile, my soft edge can be profiled by the internal framing shutters or by the external band doors. And this is not well, it seems very normal for you because you are in the lighting business, but it's very unusual because usually the band doors in front of an LED fixture, they work as a dimmer. So they, they don't, they don't band door, they don't do their job. While the, in this fixture, you really can shape the light with the band doors with all the advantage of the band doors. So we are trying, we, what we brought back, we, are, we have an LED light that works exactly like, like a standard lamp. So there's no diesel, you, you have killed all the disadvantages of the LED. And that was the move that we was planned to have. So is uh, the, the type of advantages, you know, I remember what is being asked when I was uh, filling the form, you know, how, how do you feel you're changing the world of the lighting? This thing is changing the world of the lighting by far. You know, it's energy save. It, it gives you all the advantages of the LED. And, and all the advantages of, of the standard luminaire. So the, the PC lens zoom, so the PC and the Fresnel, if you like the PC or the Fresnel, it, it's up to really the lighting designer, but you can easily zoom, and, and the zoom is actually quite big. So you really zoom wide. And then as uh, you, you can easily use the band doors and, and do every everything that you want. The fixture is bi-directional, so it's DMX bi-directional. You can upload 
software, you can download software, you can, it, it does everything that, you, that an LED fix is supposed to do with all the additional thing and bits that I just explained to you. I was not le reading to the PowerPoint. I just left the PowerPoint and, and talking to you. Uh, it's below 2,000 uh, euro list price, all included. I mean, the back and the front. So the, the, all, the all thing that Coim always try to do is we try to substitute dimmers, a good scroller, a good lamp, and the total, you know, my always, the, um, the goal is always not to be more expensive than what you are substituting. Other, otherwise, uh, you're giving advantages, but you, you have the price disadvantage. And, and it's the other thing that I didn't mention is light. It's very, it's extremely light. Here, here you're talking about some, just try the difference between a, an, an aluminum, sorry, glass lens. To, to, in order to achieve a, a beam, a quality beam, we still need that because of the size. You try to try the weight of a, of these, and the, I, I'm, I'm sure you are. You I'm know. just wondering because um, you, you're making something that's compatible with presumably a source floor. If somebody was to put your zoom on a source floor, you would actually test it in the kind of piece. I I didn't uh, I I didn't I, I have no idea what will happen. I can try if anybody will ask. We are, the, the ATC guys are we, we know we know them pretty well. You know even the Chinese copy and stuff. The only thing is that we try to be compatible for the customer. You know I, I feel we, we thought the other way around. In your shoes, as I was putting a device now that's said that people in a TV studio might just start putting onto both sets of fixtures, I would want to know what, what happens when you've engineered something for low, low heat that's going to get extremely hot. With, with the... Yeah, with an ATC back, yeah. back, with a source wall, with a source back, yeah, no. But, yeah, the, so the, the old... plastic melt. The, the plastic? Yeah, that melts. just makes us put it on the I have no idea. Because those blades are going to heat up yeah. a lot. Well, the, the blades, if you try the blades, that's the first thing. We, our blades are very easy to, to, to move, you know, and simply because there's no heat. You, there's no heat. You, you're not playing the game with the heat, so it's, it's totally cold. And, and that's, why the, that's why the gobos are, are, are a, new, a new thing. You know, I, I can do anything I want now with the gobo. You, we, was, uh, we haven't took the printer here because otherwise, Knowing the distance of, of uh, between the screen and, and the fixer, we would have designed a, a gobo bigger, or or you can even you can you can even adjust the the, the, the the angle if you want. You can rotate the image and print it. You you can do any Photoshop thing that you want. So, uh, what, roughly, what's, what's the sort of comparative? Uh, the reason I'm drawing comparisons with Source is because intrinsically within your product you have. Um, what's the comparative brightness? It's, uh, I really wish that's the worst question because we, we haven't designed anything in, uh, uh, to, we're not, this light is not designed to be a, a theatrical fix. It's designed to be a fix for the TV, it's designed to be a fix for the cruise vessel, it's designed, it's a fix for anybody that has to maintain and change the lamp at 20 meters high and then the cost of the maintenance today is very high so it's designed to be a fix for the, the for anybody that has a problem and I feel that many lighting designers in these days that are talking to me have this kind of problem but because you asked I have to answer and uh, in color uh, we are as bright as a 575 uh, source wall in color so color to color when you're going in white, I feel that we are around half there. White to white. So it's, a, it's one 1,000 uh, lux uh, at, at five meters. Then the, the PC lens, it's 1,500. So but you can roughly consider the light to be 1,000 lux. When you're going into color, like every LED light, and also it on the color. it's extremely bright. So if, if you're into the pastel color, you really achieve some, it's unbelievable. Now, if you're saying, um, again, please 
we we said it i said it many times to to my customer to my team we have fixed or we we are trying to fix a specific lighting designer problem uh, we just finished we have some case history on with his life we went to a studio just imagine the tv studio was a little room four by four and they said uh, okay here we have no air conditioning we cannot drive we cannot have a we cannot put the dimmers we we have very limited power and we need to build a studio now with the new digital hd camera it happening every day so that's what we try to have in mind don't i don't hear it can i Oh, absolutely, absolutely. This is, this is, we, we have a... Si we, we have, we are sending different curves. So we have different curves and we are 16 bit dimming. So as a start, so we have three dim, we have trimming dimming curve, but as, as I said before, we are, our light, you can upload software. So uh, right now we are, we are talking, listening more than talking to the designer. So for us, the most important thing is building a 16-bit dimmer, dimmer and have three curves built in. All the other will arrive. I mean, any other specific, but now we're talking to a museum that don't want to see the a blue wave. But for the, this light, the back, the pattern, the, the, lamp, the LED source, the comma pattern, is a group of LED with many reflectors so we're not linked to a specific LED manufacturer, but the pattern is that we are using a mix of LEDs. So if the designer will say, you know, I don't want that specific wave of the blue, we just change the mix of the LED and we can please the designers. It's all designed to be really easy to, to interchange. So you're not locked inside here. You don't have a big LED, a hundred watt. You, you have a lot of little LEDs all of them push at the maximum intensity and we ensure the 50,000 hour. So any of these kind of question, we are very happy. Really, if you see that, the, that there is something that we can do for us, the important thing was to achieve 60 bit dimming. That was big. How, how do we control? Yeah, we, we, it's, a, it's a curve, so it, it's a curve that has been, we can simulate the tungsten, just inside you have right now, tungsten simulation, so you are simulating the, the, the heat, the, the color temperature of the tungsten, then you've got the discharge curve that simulates the, the moving heads, and the third one, because we have no more fantasy, we, we, we have insert a, a different curve that we like, so it's really proportional. The third is proportion, but that's just because that's where our fantasy arrived to. We have a lot of room in the microprocessor to do any, to, to do many other things. So we're trying to innovate deeply and, and, and give, give these new, new things to the world. And, and one thing that I found in museum is that the soft profile was actually a, requ a specific request. You know, they want soft profile and they don't like the band doors. But if, it happened that he's also working with the band doors. So there's an extra, is an extra plus.